I try. Try one. You try one of them? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. <sighs> they got it. Game of things. Game of things. Do you know which way? I'm trying to find the elevator. I guess we go up the stairs. So this is our room? Yep. Let's see how you work this thing. You did last year. I'm still recording. Huh? I'm still recording. Did you? There's no refrigerator. Okay. Open that door. Yes. Yeah. Hit my drinks there too. Where is yours? I have this couch. Yeah. This bed? Last time you had this bed. Just hush. I picked that bed. Keep on screen. <laughs> what is that? Snake. When you find it, you keep it. Huh? What is it called when you find it, you keep it? You didn't call it though. <laughs> I put my stuff on it. It don't mean nothing. Yes, it you does. Call it. I shut up. Nay. No internet. Uh, you want the AC on? You want the heater on? AC. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> hey, AC. Why is there no internet? Uh, cool channel, single not available, try another channel. Look, no smoking. He was vomiting. According to Kelly, he looked at her while she was strangling him and he had carried her. Are we going to order pizza? Yes, baby. Okay, I'm just asking. Nay, can I show you something in the bathroom? 
Can I show you something? What's going on, man? Okay. Are you calling? What the address is, but it's Wingfield Hotel. We can fill in. Yes. 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 Two six zero. So he walked in the bathroom. Well, just looks yeah. like someone's just going to one a big party. Okay. Hey. I'm gonna watch my my chauffeur over here. Then we'll come back on this. Um, would you have a coffee maker oh, in your bathroom? Oh, Do what? Would you have a coffee maker in your bathroom? Yeah. There's a coffee maker in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, what the hell? There's a coffee maker in the bathroom. <laughs> Would you do that? Would you do that? I guess. What? What is this? Is it a tiny blanket? How much was the peaches? Or, uh, I don't remember. She was like <laughs> forty something. Okay. So what are we doing tomorrow? Let's just see what the weather's like tomorrow. Okay. Are you sending off fireworks on New Year's? Mm, if we stay at home, yes. Give me a do. What? Give me a do. Okay. The next day. More natural feel, and the handle extends a full 40 millimeters to reach where you never could before. On the back and body, nothing else comes close. I thought it was really cool Why? that it can extend. It really helps. That actually uh, made it that so easy. Back. I would never use any other clippers. This is the one to use. Snap on the comb and keep your look tight between barber visits. With the titanium trim, I can do the touch-up work between barber visits. I'm saving time. I'm saving money. Snap off the comb and insert. 
sideburns, beards, and neckline with total precision. Extend it and tame those places barbers can on Joel's back and body. Micro Touch Titanium Trim. The one tool that does it all. Sometimes I just need a little bit off. And that's what's great about this product. You these scars, you just need a little bit off. Okay, I'm good. But if you can comb it, you can cut it. Simple. This is saving the money. Same. I don't have to go to the barber as much. I can no, just maintain not. the <laughs> yeah. micro polished stainless steel me. blades bonded with titania, built in extension handle, talking. precision engineered comb attachments, oh, plus a non slip grip that. and LED oh. spotlight. Just comb uh, it and cut it with micro touch titanium trim. Get yours now at titaniumtrim.com. Or call 1 800 209 7373. It's the only way to cut your hair by yourself. The time and money I can now say is the $25 business makes this price a no brainer. If you don't have it, you better get it. Micro Touch Titanium Trim. I tried all sorts of finance apps, but the best they could do was tell me what I already knew. Like, alert, you spent too much on dinner. I know I did. I signed the check. That's exactly why I started Rocket Money. I wanted an app to actually help me improve my finances. Rocket Money finds and cancels sneaky subscriptions, lowers bills, and automatically tracks and categorizes your spending. Start the new year right and take control of your finances. Download uh, Rocket Money. We'll go out here a little bit. Find me a pair of pants or shorts. And get in the hot tub. And look, buddy. I hope you're really hungry because today we reap on a snack truck. 2014 Nissan really? delivery van. I know it's got a really release cool. system yeah. schedule, so I'm gonna try to catch the order locations. Right. It does the same way out of there. Every take video. You know what? Let me check the right. Pick up. Oh, no. I was saying, I you were so me pull it. I did not see it. Yeah. We over just keep popping these six stores. We are gonna pass it. Cause see, it's a little loop in my head. Starts over at Swift, then he probably goes to G's, then he probably comes over here to this one. Hold on, what's that? There it is, there it is, there it is. Back up to the door, though. Do it. I'm gonna get it all. I don't think so because it's front wheel drive and it's too big for me to drive. I need to get to the back of it. You know what, though? I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Nonchalantly. What, just walk by and check it in. This is our perfect chance to check it in. Three, two, and five. Here, take your radio and be the screen. Hey, look, just see if you see the kids at the back of the van. Nah. You're a butt. You're a butt. And do you mind? I am watching my TV show that I haven't seen on TV in forever. Is this copyright? Uh, y'all. So I can sell it. Uh, no. Well, you can, but it's got to be a quick one. I can't take it. Do you know what's the name of it? Lizard Lick Twin. Why do you like it? Because it is my show. What's my show then? Are you saying somebody's doing dirty? What's my show? Will you please stop so I can watch this a little bit? What's my soul? A few moments later. I wound a warrior president. It's our honor to serve this generation of injured veterans. Because of the COVID-19 crisis, many warriors find themselves more isolated than ever. We quickly work to create virtual programs so that these brave men and women could continue to get the critical support and services they need. The board project is so important and it helps so many. To those who donate, thank you very much. The programs that have been started have accomplished a great deal. Please join Wounded Warrior Project with your gift of just $19 a month and we'll send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. I would love to just say thank you. Attention military personnel, veterans, and civilians who were stationed or worked at Camp Lejeune from 1953 to 1987. If you or a loved one lived, worked, or served at Camp Lejeune, call the Victim Justice Group now. 
you may be entitled to significant compensation. The U.S. government recently passed a law allowing servicemen and women, their family members, and civilian workers who lived or worked on the base at Camp Lejeune for at least 30 days to seek justice for injuries caused by toxic water. If you or a loved one suffered injuries associated with the toxic water at Camp Lejeune, including bladder, kidney, or liver cancer, multiple myeloma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Parkinson's disease, adult leukemia, or aplastic anemia, call the Victims Justice Group now. Our attorneys will fight to get you the compensation you deserve for your pain and suffering. Military personnel, their families, and civilians change it. They're not changing 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 it. I just watched that open by itself. Probably. I watched it open by itself. I can't believe this. What can't you believe? It's crazy. Baby. I mean, why would he just leave like that? That's why we call him crazy. He ain't not even very bright right now. I gave him a call and pick up. I hope he calls back. But well, at least he left together. You think it was a bad sign they left? So. Yeah. I believe this hotel is haunted because that desk keeps opening and opening and I was alone in this hotel and the toilet first by itself but I was on my bed. Standing there in the courthouse, it dawned on me. If I'm going to marry Linda, it's going to be a proper wedding that she deserves. Not a quickie in the courthouse. That girl deserves the wedding of her dream. And I couldn't give her another cheese ball with my first one, and I, I just, I, I can't do that. I got to do this right. Aww. Y'all going to come to the wedding, right? Y'all going to be here to stay. Ronnie, I'll stay, I promise. Y'all leave us at all. I haven't caught the dead that open on camera yet. Because ghosts doesn't like to be filmed. Oh my god. Oh, I can't. How? I know I'm still in the room. I'm gonna show this off. Everything. When I see it moving, I, I, turn, I will turn the camera I'm back on. See you guys soon. A few moments later. You ready to go swimming? Huh? You ready to go swimming? I, I can't go swimming, baby. I don't have no shorts. The next day. In 2019, a local Oktoberfest celebration asked to borrow a tuba from the high school. So I came in and I went to grab the tuba and I could hear brass instruments. Walked in to the band room to grab the tuba and the music stopped. Stepped out, could hear the brass instrument again. 
walked in, couldn't hear it, but no one was there. Do you believe that something was playing the tuba? Well, I'm, I'm somewhat of a skeptic, but I have no answer for why I, I did that. But I will say it was creepy to walk into an empty room and see a chair in the middle of the room with the tuba next to it. And just an empty chair, yeah. like somebody was sitting there playing the tuba. And you slept. Uh -huh. And you slept. Uh -huh. Scott shows us the gravestone that commemorates those whose resting place was desecrated by construction. This includes members of the native Wallapai tribe, for whom burial is profoundly sacred. We're not leaving yet. It says dedicated in memory of the hundreds of courageous pioneers who are now and forever entombed within this sacred and hollowed ground. Scott takes us to a spot where he had another disturbing experience. Well, it was one evening, it was about 8 p.m., and I would say this was probably the one time that I was I was kind of scared. Uh, I was leaving the building. Well, hold on a second. Did, did Principal Scott say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it was a library where I heard Principal Scott say that he was skeptical. Principal Scott was scared. He was scared. By 8 p.m., I was leaving. I walked through these doors, I was between the two sets of doors, and I distinctly heard someone, a child, say, don't leave. I thought you might need to take that piece out first. Okay, well, maybe one of our custodians has a child here. I re-entered, came through, walked around, looked, didn't see anyone. And I will tell you why I'm uh, pretty quickly getting out of the way. Outside that, no, outside that. We are unexpectedly interrupted by a faculty right. member who says so she has had an experience here. So I was down over there by that back stairwell, you know that little door that's under there? When I was in there, I was throwing your books, the door slammed shut on me, and I yelled, you let me out, and the door popped open. Table. So something yeah. slammed the door on you? Yeah, but I felt right. freaked out a little bit after that. I never put my well, ears back in there again. Now. Gretchen Dorner, the Cayman superintendent of schools, also found herself inexplicably trapped. I had gone to the second floor and was working in the teacher's workroom, stepped into the restroom that's located inside that workroom. The lights suddenly went out and it startled me, so I proceeded to try to exit the bathroom. The door wouldn't open either direction. I tried to push it open, pull it open. There was a level of a panic, like how long will the lights be off and how long will it take me to get out of the store? You have a conversation with your son, what just happened? I actually tried to go in the next day and recreate the situation and it wasn't recreatable, if you will. Um, I tested the door, opened it and closed it many times very easily. And so, no, I, I have no explanation for that. Principal Taylor's twin daughters, well, Molly and Riley, say the girls' locker room is the site of frequent activity. Where did you have That's your locker room? Oh, here, we'll go there. The videos and stuff on there. They respond at the same time. <laughs> they need to leave. I've been here alone to like grab stuff and it's kind of, I just, there's, you get like this feeling. Yeah, when you make weird like noises like in the back over there, like in the bathrooms. And it's just really unsettling, I don't like it. It stays in there. Well, okay, so this one time we were in here, it sounded like toilet flushing or like toilet paper, like rolls like yeah. moving and stuff like that. And like we could hear like tapping and then we were like, well, is anybody in the bathroom? We checked, and then nobody was in there. But then yeah, we, had we like tried to walk away, and then the door slammed. Oh, really? Us. Then yeah. yeah. And then I we screamed. screamed and ran. So you actually ran out of here. Was that scary? Yeah. So they leave. They move to the bathroom, bathroom to investigate. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody in here? What was that? Did you hear that? Riley and Molly are both completely silent. Later. That's part of your thing.
very good. Thank you. tub in the jacuzzi and the pool was 20 times bigger than this one. And deeper. Yeah. 